the white-faced clown. We were once a great figure of the circus, a big attraction. It was a role of elegance and prestige. In my lifetime, I have seen the circus change. And with this change, our rule declined. You know, in every circus today remains the ghost of the white clown. But it lingers often only as a memory. <laughs> was Alex and Sabata, which were great clowns. And uh, they had a, a call against another, and they said, all right, I'm finished, I'm going to somebody else. And then Sabata, he made a joke. He said, oh, we're going to make him crazy now. So when the newspaper man was there, he said, the white-faced clown is dead. We don't need him anymore. You will see, I will work alone, and so and so and so. But that was only to make Alex mad. But they talk this joke seriously, and it spread all over uh, the world. The, the white-faced clown is dead. We don't need him anymore, and all, all kind of rubbish. Uh, Francesco, tu viens manger? C'est prêt? Non, merci. Uh, fait trop chaud. C'est trop tard aussi. Mais Plutôt, donne-moi quelque chose à boire. Francesco, allez, viens manger, c'est prêt, c'est l'heure. Now, when you start at 2 o'clock until 11 at night, for seven days a week, well, I think. You got to love it to do it.
this is uh, Enrico, my left, and this is Ernesto, my right. Uh, one is um, the first August, and this is the second August, and I'm the white face clown. You can see it already. Is the uh, well, you, you could say the regisseur of the act. I'm the one that preparing everything for them. But they they must be careful not to kill each other. The white faced clown is very intelligent. Very, very should be. Should be, yeah. <laughs> I don't have to tell you that when I say the word clown, it's only the white one. The others, they are ogres. But the most of the people call everybody clown, which is wrong, very wrong. The clown is only the white face one, and he's not funny at all. He's, he's in the act to make you understand, to make uh, believe what we are doing. In the old days, there was there was no makeup, and uh, the white face clown they used to do it by themselves with zinc uh, white. I'm not very happy with with the man or the person that invented this. I have to do it twice every day. Now I have to clap for myself. The ears, they are not difficult to do. And the nose, just a little bit uh, from the distance to see where it is. It's already big enough, but you have to mark it. Now, this is a very difficult part. The lips, especially the top, they must be very, very small. See? If I'm doing this, this is masculine, and this, coming in. I don't know why, but that's the way it is. It needs experience, experience, and again experience, like everything in life. And nobody has ever finished to learn, believe me. Now we are coming to the most difficult part of all white clowns. They are up till now, they're, the most of them, they are similar. But when it comes to, to the black, everybody change because they must change. And they, they must find where to put it. And the most important, important is the amount. Even white face clown, they don't know that this is very important, the amount. They find out by the years. doing it for 43 years now. And uh, if you are tall with a 
very deep voice, then you may, but not so much. Otherwise, you would act too aggressive, brutale. Hier. <lacht> Hallo, Ernesto! Wo bleibt denn Rico? Da ist er schon. Guten Tag, jawohl, guten Abend. Hallo, Jonathan. Hallo, Mann, Hallo, Rico. Hallo, Francesco. Hallo, Samal, wie schön. Hallo, Freunde. So, und nun werde ich euch ein wunderbares Kunststück zeigen. Gut, aber ein Moment, ja, ein Moment. Bitte schön. La, 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 la. So, Achtung. Eins, zwei. Oh. Ah, ja, ja, ja. Hat sie denn, du hast es Quack, 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 quack,
Christiane me, he was uh, really like one of us. And uh, he could predict that one day, the partner, which we call the August, became more famous as the clown. Because the white faced clown become more and more a serious personality. And uh, the August is the one who makes the people laugh. I think uh, you can hide yourself much better behind uh, an August wearing a wig, having a big nose, and uh, once in a while you have the time to relax. And yet the white-faced clown is always under, under tension. He's the one that has to attack, uh, the one that uh, has to face the people. And on the other side, it's also ungrateful because uh, everything that the people react is for the the August. If you go around, you can visit five, ten, twenty circuses, and you never see a white-faced clown. Or occasionally you see someone which you cannot decide, is he a white-faced clown or is he an August? And uh, you see August everywhere. I got the feeling that the people want to remember the white faced clown, which is a person plenty of nostalgic. <laughs> A real good clown, maybe uh, I'm too nervous. I'm too nervous, I mean to say, sometime when I'm in a bad mood, some, some day or something like this, then I give up. And this is only the nerves are doing. And giving up, this is cheating on art.
Yes, here we are in Vienna after a long time. Beautiful town, plenty of history. And also for me, because this is where I start to work. I was only about 11, 12 years old. Not very far from here, behind those houses, there were the circus rents. And here, near where? In the Prater, there was Central Circus. It's not there anymore. Everything changed. Changed with the time. There was a beautiful variety called Ronacha, Vienna, famous. When you were in Ronacha, that means you were somebody. Unfortunately, Vienna, it's not anymore the town that I remember, but plenty of romantic, which it's someone in common with the clown. It has changed so much. Yes, and everything, and I suppose that we have to change as well. Pourquoi tu as rien? Je demande à demander. Ah. Yes, I think the image of the white face clown became uh, very popular today. You can buy a little dolls. Uh, you see it in many magazines uh, and all this. So it, it makes me happy. But there is one thing that I feel very sorry about. On television, you see the famous clown and the famous uh, here. But believe me, there is, there is nothing as a clown. I don't mean to criticize what they're doing, but they have absolutely nothing in common with a clown. It's only they use that name, and this is an offense to our art. du monde est installé au Madison Square Garden de New York où la foule énorme assiste à sa première soirée de gala placée sous le signe de la bienfaisance. In America, this is the first sabotage for our business for clowning. Toutes les grandes vedettes du cirque sont là, mais le clou de la représentation tenu secret jusqu'à la dernière minute allait dépasser tous les espoirs et déchaîner les enthousiasmes. Marilyn Monroe sur un éléphant rose, souriante et pas très rassurée. Mais le cirque ne perd jamais ses droits. The circus in America, you see, well, they have three rings and two stages and going on in the air. So when they want to change something, all of a sudden, 50 clown comes in. Oh, they're making noise, ping, boom. The people, they don't want where to look. Of course, that brings the atmosphere alive, of course. But how can... One clown, even if he's the best in the world, come out of 50. It's impossible. And they all have white face and big mouth. And This is not what we clown the classical. I will remember all my life what an experience I have met Mr. Ed Sullivan. You know, you imagine somebody looking very tough Something, uh, what can I say, like Humphrey Bockhart. 
not exactly, but that, that type of man, that he knew what he wanted. So uh, well, when we first met, okay, okay, and then we, he saw the show. And after the show, he called me and he said, I like very much you are, Francesco. Why um, you don't want to come to America? I said, yeah. well, the first reason is we cannot come because we got horses. And then he said, come on, come on, sit down. And he get a cigar out and have a cigar. I said, no, thank you. I don't smoke. He offered me at least 10 times the cigar. And all the time I was saying, no, thank you, I don't smoke. So he had the cigar. I said, and the second reason is because you don't give me any chance to be good. And I don't want to fall through like all the rest did. He said, sit down, sit down. What do you mean I don't give any chance? I said, I will explain it to you. And then I said, I come to America. You don't know my act. At least you don't know how I'm going to sell it. And then you say, OK, do your act. And then I have to do my act, which is swimming without water, because there isn't people around. And you cannot see the reaction, what I want to sell. Even you have a big name. You have Mr. Ed Sullivan. So for nothing, the name doesn't come. But you are telling me that I'm good. He said, you are damn good. We have never seen something like this. So I would have to know how to sell my act. So I know how to sell it better than you, because I know my act. You don't know my act, and, you, and then you say, all right, you had five minutes. I give you three. And then you don't even say, I give you three minutes and do what, what you can do the best. No, you say, I want this, I want this. And I want this. And all the time he was talking, you know, there was all a queue. There was a girl with papers and writing, and then a man, Mr. Sullivan, and then he tagged and said, wait a minute, this has time. It's very interesting. Go on, Frank. And then I was saying, so, you see, you even don't give me the chance to prove it, because you say I want this and this and this, and things that even don't fit together. But for you, they were good the way you saw it. It's very interesting. I never thought of this. Always oh, said, cigar, have a cigar. I said, no, thank you. I don't smoke <laughs> for, for the first time, you know. And, and those people, I felt, I felt embarrassed because we were sitting on the fence during the dress rehearsal and everybody was waiting. And they thought, what, the, what have they got to say? See, so I was embarrassed. But he said, no, no, it's so interesting. I have never thought of this. And it's true what you're saying. It's damn true. With a cigar, you know? What a personality. That was a marvelous experience. And I said, besides, who's gonna tell you that the American gonna like this? He said, who's gonna tell me? I tell you, he said, and I'm gonna prove it to you. Then somehow he persuaded me, and I wanted to go. And I'm sorry I, I could never make it. Yes, 
uh, Ilus Antoinette Alex he had no ear it was easy for him because he used to take the white in his hand and then just and it was white because he had no ear he had ear but he, he was going to the barber and um, what do you call it raise it up take the shuffle the, the hair up uh, and uh, Francois Fratellini he was not very high he was a little man he was uh, uh, more the clown like the children dream he was also funny in some way uh, with the children uh, he was uh, doing funny face and you know we're gonna do this see I don't remember any other clowns in my century um, that was uh, trying to be funny everyone every every clown has his own expression and then he's got to find something for his expression if if there wouldn't be black eye bones then it's a bad face naturally at the beginning I wanted to be like people as well and he was completely different I tried to do like him he had just one line here and similar like this on one side and then I wanted to be and to look like him but no matter how I did it I couldn't I couldn't and uh, then I found out that I have to do something else for my face it was a nice person and I don't know maybe that comes out somehow I think let's put it that way if you're a bastard you can't be a good clown or you are a good actor but you're cheating somebody and who yourself Enrico, he was uh, really one of the greatest bareback riders in the whole world. And I must say, up till now, I have never seen what he has done. And I'm sure as long as I live, I will not. And he's very famous in our circus world. If you say Enrico Caroli, then they will know all the famous riders. Unfortunately, this is something that you cannot do all your life. But it's a shame. Because that was really, really very good. Familiar. 
vanno sotto, tanto uno come l'altro e non vanno avanti. Allora. Ieri ci detto Domenico di non toccarlo perché lo toccava troppo e ci faceva fare questo. Oggi ci ho detto non toccarlo, non lo toccava niente, allora andava al trotto. Allora non si può più dire niente. Capisci quello che voglio dire? Non è colpa sua perché non voglio darti la colpa a lui, non è colpa della cosistà perché non è la cosistà. Ce ne davo tre, quattro quasi di cosistà e andava sempre al galoppo. Allora, è quello è. Eh. Eh. Se topo, se topo fa così davanti e ma galoppa sì, da dietro e me lo fa andare davanti. Sì. E la bella anche me lo due me lo gioco. Dove ti dico da metterlo e viene il giorno dopo e se non le rimetti non è mica più neanche gentile. Non lo mai, non lo mai, non lo mai. Allora se il topo mi rispondi che non c'hai tempo. Perché non c'hai tempo? Sai che ora incomincia? Incomincia alle 5 io a lavorare. Eh, come, eh? Come Prima di allevare le dame, dagli da bere, preparare i cavalli, tutti quanti, è arrivato l'ultimo momento che non ho fatto in tempo. Abbiamo detto qualche cosa quando siamo nelle piccole città, mai hai detto niente. Qui c'è sempre qualche duro, anche stasera c'è dentro due direttori. Allora. E per me io li metto anche, anche al mattinino. Da domani io li metto al mattinino. No, non occorre. No, 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 da domani li metto al mattinino. Eh, 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 ma che li fatto voi? Non posso mica far tutto il tempo con No, non è ma li metto anche al mattinino, così è bello finito. Ah, dove? Vedete come si vengono dietro, guarda. Eh, gli può venire da dietro. Allora. Here we go. Hello. Is that for war? Come on, come on, come on. Time this morning. Time this morning. Ali. Wait, wait for me. Coming. No, lui dice che non si fa. Guardate, potete correre la fila davanti. Io no, cosa è? Come ho detto, va dietro. people are you clowns are, are you sad people are you <laughs> well what should i say we are people like everyone we have uh, moments in life where we are happy and moments where you are sad uh, i have to remember all my life when they brought me a telegram that my mother was dead it was during the war she was in italy i was in Germany, and this happened uh, ten minutes before the act. Well, uh, what should we do? We, we knew how important it was for a show without the clowns, and especially because we were doing more than only one, one act. Well, then, my brother, we didn't know what to say. And uh, he started make up, and, and, and I went to my corner and make up, and uh, ten minutes later we was in the ring. But uh, probably I can't describe to you the feeling to make people laugh and hear people laugh. And you can imagine how I felt inside. <laughs> for example, I have very less seen, 
artists doing the white face clown for my age, you see. They were all older than me, like my father. But I haven't seen since of my age now clowns, white face clowns. There's only one. And I say it's people. Oh, the Philip Alexi Cruz. But I mean, this is for the complete world when you think about it. There's only three or four. That's not enough. children there will be a circus and as long as there is a circus there will be a white-faced clown he is still alive 